Okay, we'll start the meeting. Uh, welcome to the uh, Addison Township Board meeting. Today is March 19th. It's uh, 6 o'clock. If we could all stand for the pledge, please. <coughs> Any veterans here? We have a veteran? Well, then I guess I'll start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we continue to stand, please? God, please help us to uh, lead with wisdom, make the right decisions for our township. Help us to have a great month. And uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, now we'll start the meeting. If we could have roll call, please. Eric Sent. Here. Lily Barrick. Here. Joe King. Excused. Jacob Newby. Here. Lori Fisher. Here. Bennett Presence, Supervisor Pearson. Here. Okay. Announcements. Any announcements? No. None. Petitions. Any petitions? None. Department reports, as usual, they're available in my office. Or you can contact my deputy and we'll make those available. Uh, approval of the agenda. Move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Any questions? Not hearing any. Can we have roll call on that, please? Lori Fisher. Yes. Jacob Newby. Yes. Yes. Eric Sent. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. Consent agenda. Yes, it's quite a lengthy one, so I'm going to try to abbreviate some of this. Um, the February 12th minutes, bills and pay for February, resolution for fire dispatch services agreement, Kingsbury School School Fair on June 8th with one day liquor license, Kingsbury Trust Auction May 19th with one day liquor license. <coughs> the locations of the park committee meetings, interlocal agreement for the ladder truck, tri party gravel agreement, and a budget amendment 1,000 from the repairs of Bill 9 to 1,000 for border review wages. Um, there are four at six, it's June 3rd, 2017. I changed it to June 3rd, 18. Okay. So is there a June 3rd, 18? Is that a weekend? Anybody have I that? I can't look on my phone. Maybe they, they it seems like uh -huh. they uh, had a misprint. June what? June 3rd, does that fall off? June 3rd would be a Sunday. A Sunday yeah. That's so when they have it, so Sunday. So it is, they had the wrong year. Right, so they're good on the June 3rd then. Thank you. I'll make a motion to move the consent agenda. I'll second. Any further discussion? Uh, here, I'll make a roll call on that, please. Linda Garrick. Yes. Eric Sent. Yes. Jacob Newby. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett, yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. Okay, we'll move on to item number two, resolution adopting the general appropriations for the fiscal year 2018-2019. Um, before us, we have a resolution for the new fiscal year, and it reflects the board uh, that we went through the budget several times in the last few months. Um, since our last meeting, I modified two areas. Uh, I'd like to bring that to your attention. Uh, the rate for the assessor had a, a typo and was corrected, and the bid for the road chloriding came in, and it's a little higher than what we anticipated. Uh, so we increased the uh, budget just a little bit. If you'll see, it's in there at 68000 to cover anything if there's um, on the increase. Um, as you know, uh, we set the budget at what we set it at. We, in the last nine years, and on 10 years, we've never spent our budget. Matter of fact, I don't think we've even spent three quarters of our budget. So what we allocate, um, we do bring our budget um, well within our amount allotted, and uh, we try not to spend all of the money that uh, we put forth. So a lot of it we get because of volunteers. We get a lot of donations, a lot of volunteers, and that's how we supplement our budget. And um, we're very lucky that the people in our township have a lot of um, time that they can volunteer to us. So that's uh, a great savings to us. Uh, but before you um, is the resolution. And what I'm looking for is, uh, is there a motion to move the resolution? 
I'll make that motion. I'll second. So we have a motion and a second to adopt the resolution. Is there any further comment from the board? Not hearing any. Can we have a roll call on that, please? Jacob Newby. Yes. Eric Sen. Yes. Jimmy Garrett. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett, yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. This resolution is so moved. Move on to item number three. Uh, review, authorize, reject the uh, road chloriding bids. <coughs> um, we advertise for the road chloriding bids. As you know, I'm a, a big proponent on the chlorating of the roads now because uh, the road commission has uh, educated all of us that uh, the chloride does make a difference and we have seen a difference in over the years now that our roads are much better than they were in the past the chloride keeps the uh, materials in there so um, i'm very much for chloriding all of the roads in the township uh, and we did find some of that money uh, um, through the uh, cable company um, anyways, the total uh, gravel roads are 245,357 feet, and um, I would like uh, to, uh, first of all, uh, let the board decide which uh, bid they'd like to go with. We have one at 26 cents a foot, and we have one at 27 from the Road Commission. Um, I'd like it to uh, state if there was a motion that uh, it's not to exceed uh, $63,792 if we go with the road maintenance or not to exceed uh, 66246 if we go with the road commission. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to award the 218 RFP to road maintenance with the understanding and amend the agreement that the gross total fee to gravel roads is 245357 with a cost of 26 cents and not to exceed 63792 and 82 cents. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Do we have any comments? If we have no comments, can we have a roll call on that, please? Erickson. Yes. Linda Garrett. Yes. Jacob Newby. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett, yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. And that passes. Move on to item number four, authorization for a part-time employee for maintenance of the landscaping beds. As you know, in our last contract, we did have a, a maintenance agreement with the uh, company, but uh, after thinking this out, um, we thought that um, we might be able to hire somebody who lives in the township who happens to be an advanced master gardener and we're very fortunate to have um, Lynn Beamer. And so what I'm suggesting is maybe we could put the, uh, if you notice uh, in the uh, report, uh, 82 hours for the season. And I would recommend the $14.10 an hour for the master gardener because she is uh, certified um, for up to 110 hours uh, to maintain the um, all the flowers and all the plants that we have at the township here and not do that with the company. I think that would be better and easier and I think we'd have uh, probably a little more um, tender loving care. I kind of broke this out in two ways for the board to see. One is if 1410 an hour if it's skilled labor because that's what our resolution allows for us to do. Lynn of course is way overqualified for this and I'm just thrilled to death that she's able to do it. Um, I think the motion should be tied to just Lynn, but if it's skilled labor, 1410, and if for some reason Lynn doesn't do it or something should happen, a general labor would, would remain at 1176 per hour. Um, and then Bruce and I did some figuring out, it would be 82 hours per season. And then if for some reason it's uh, really warm, really, or a storm comes in, we need to allow Bruce to extend it to 110. So we have the numbers for you here as well. Does anybody have any questions on that? So is there any schedule on this? I know when we talked about maintenance before, it was somebody coming in weekly. Is this something that um, she's just going to identify as needed or Bruce will administrate? Or? He's I going to administrate most of it, but Lynn's going to probably base it on the plants that are there. She's going to oversee the actual installation. She'll come and watch a little bit there. I, I mean, this is going to be a big benefit for us, especially when we first get it planted. 
The other contract was nice, but I don't think they were going to come out as every day to look at it. I mean, Lynn lives in the township. She's going to be by here all the time. And if she sees there's a problem, I'm sure she's going to take care of it. Whereas the other company, I would think, would come out every two to three weeks and, and realize that the problem was a couple weeks ago. So I think it's better to have somebody in the township, especially if we have somebody this talented. But to answer your question, no, we don't have set per week hours. We just gave you the gross amount of hours. Okay. Anybody have I'd a like motion? To, I'd like to make a motion to authorize one position for lawn maintenance of the landscaped areas of the township not to exceed 82 hours per season with wages at 14.10 per hour for a master gardener certification or 11.76 per hour for general labor and authorize a supervisor to extend the hours up to 110 per season if required due to storms, weather condition, or as a situation arises. I'll second that. Do you have a motion to second? Any further comments? If there's no further comments, could we have a roll call on that, please? Jacob Newman? Yes. Linda Garrett? Yes. Eric Sant? Yes. Roy Fisher? Yes. Jacob Yes. Supervisor Cruzan? Yes. Okay, that passes. Move on to authorization of the spring, uh, spring cleanup agreement and the event. Well, we always had spring cleanup every year, okay? Uh, right after Mother's Day, I believe it was, or just before Mother's Day. Um, we're having a little difficulty because the company that we always dealt with, Republic, has been sold, and now they're all broke up into different divisions and a different company. Um, First of all, we do, in my opinion, we do want to have the spring cleanup. It's always a success, and we definitely want to have <clears throat> the, the township cleaned up. If you notice, you don't see any junk around our township, and if you do, we get it picked up so that it doesn't multiply. So um, the first thing is uh, what I'm seeking is allow us to seek proposals for the spring cleanup because this company is no longer there. Um, what I'd like is the clerk's office to mail and post and um, and for us to waive the sealed bid pr uh, procedure at this time because uh, this is going to be done in May. We have to get somebody lined up and we aren't getting any responses back from Republic who is dissolved. The second thing is I author authorize uh, the notice for the agreement to seek bids and allow the supervisor to award the bid because of the short time. And, um, and I'll bring the bid back. If we get a good bid, I'd like to bring it back and see if we can get an option for a four-year agreement. And, but I'll bring that back to the board after we get this first bid because of the time constraints and then uh, a motion to approve the event I need that so to make sure that we ap approve the spring cleanup again so those are the three issues so does anybody have any comment on this well yeah okay go, go right ahead I was gonna ask the Pardon? Well, well, we'll have to put the bid out. We have to put the bid out, and um, we'll. And there are some great right. companies. Pardon? Right. Yeah, there's some great companies out there, okay. and we need to get them out. On yes, they'll be on the list. Okay, that's that's okay, Roger. <laughs> um, does anybody on the board have a comment on this? Does anybody have a motion on this? I'll, I'll make a motion to to uh, authorize the event. I think that would be the first one we need, right? To authorize the event? Um, I'm thinking we could do all three together, but I... Okay, I you want to do all three? To, I think uh, we need to waive the ordinance first. Okay, waive the ordinance? Mm -hmm. Okay. The waive the sealed bid ordinance? On the purchasing ordinance specifically, the sealed bid procedure, yes. Yep. Okay, I'll make that motion. Do we need a vote on that first, or are we going to do all three? Support. I need support. Okay. Support. Then we're going to go through it. You have support on it? Anybody have any comments on it? Well, let's do that one then. Roll call. We're going to waive the ordinance and let's do it one at a time. Lori Fisher? Yes. Jacob Newby? Yes. Eric Seth? Yes. Linda Garrick? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Supervisor Pearson? Yes. That part passes. So the second part now. Okay. Authorizing the event? Well, no, that's the third part. We can do it. Whatever they want to do. No, notice can to seek the. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Pardon? Do we need a. Uh, we need motion another motion for the for sending out the notice 
for the for the bids? For the supervisor to allow the supervisor, the supervisor to award the bid for 2018 yep. and bring back the optional four year agreement. Yep. Okay. Is that your motion? That's my motion. Do we have a support? Yes. We have support. Any comments? Do they want to add the event? So we only do one more roll call? Yeah, we can add the oh, event. Oh, now you want to add the event. the event, too. And you want to authorize the event? Okay. 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 We have a motion and support to add the event. No comments? Roll call, please. Jacob Newey? Yes. Linda Garrett? Yes. Lori Fisher? Yes. Eric Yes. Bennett? Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. No offenses. <clears throat> now on the resolution authorizing the millage ballot language for the police protection and operations of police millage is uh, has expired. As a re resolution notes, this will be placed on the August ballot as the only police millage. Uh, we need this millage, of course, to uh, continue supporting the patrol services. Um, I need a motion, first of all, uh, to move the resolution. Resolution was reviewed by our attorney. Correct. And so it's the ballot language. And you see the ballot language. So I'll make a motion to authorize the ballot language for police protection of ladies and investigations. Second. Do you have any comments? No comments? Can I have roll call, please? Jacob Newton. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Eric Sands. Yes. Linda Garrett. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Secretary Yes. And we'll move on to item number seven now. <clears throat> this is a resolution authorizing the fire department operating millage renewal. This is another renewal, and because of the heavy rollback, it's uh, technically an increase, but it's just bringing it back to the uh, millage rate that was first approved. Um, again, um, this supports our fire department. I know that the chief put all of the millages in together so that they're all showing up at one time now. And uh, so what I need is a motion to move this re uh, resolution for the ballot language. I'll make the motion to uh, approve the language for the millage for the fire department. I'm just, I have a question. Why, why does this one have 2019 through 2024? Fair millage doesn't expire until 18. Expires in 2019, so it will actually take effect 2019, but typically does not. So Jerry is actually doing it in 18, although it won't take effect in 19. And then all of them will either be a presidential election or a governor's election, so that they'll all be together. That's why it's being done this way. <coughs> Does anybody have, did we have a motion? I made a motion. Do we have uh, support? I'll support. Do we have support? Do we have any comments? If we don't have any comments, can I roll call on that, please? Yes. Eric Sen. Yes. Jacob Newby. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. Resolution is so moved. <clears throat> Move on to item number eight, uh, wave ordinance. Uh, uh, section 2196, sale of surplus proper, authorize a sale of the fire department engine number three with the attached uh, breakdown of the included equipment with a broker service with fees not to exceed 10% <clears throat> of the selling price. Um, first of all, uh, Jerry wants to sell a fire engine, right? Uh, yes, correct. We have a, a third engine. We're taking um, delivery on the brand new engine in April. So I just wanted to have it before the board so I could get um, rid of the surplus property there, the engine and some old hose and um, mm -hmm. some other old things that we have um, around the station to put on that truck. Unfortunately, that truck isn't worth much. We might get um, maybe $10,000 because we've had it so long and we've kept it in service. Um, there is a couple things that are majorly wrong with it, so we won't be able to sell it for top dollar. But I'd like to have the option of going to, there's two different brokers out there right now I'd like to advertise with. One is at 7% and one is at 10% 10, 10 of the selling price. So I'd like that um, option to be able to go either or, and then whoever sells first is who we go with, and hopefully it's the 7%. So. And you've been successful at this before. Yes, we have. Going through several, brokers, uh, so. At least four times now, and we've got top dollar out of what we needed for those, uh, those surplus vehicles. 
Okay, so the first thing we need is a motion to waive the ordinance on the surplus property. So moved. <coughs> support. I have a motion and support. Any further comment on that? Not hearing any, can we have a roll call on that, please? Jacob Newby? Yes. Erickson? Yes. Linda Garrett? Yes. Fisher. Yes. Bennett, yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. So that passes. Now we need a motion uh, to approve the sale of the of the equipment as listed. Um, the broker of the chief's choice and the service fees not to exceed ten percent. I'll make that motion. Second. Any comments? Not hearing any. Can we have a roll call, please? Yes. Jacob Newby. Yes. Eric Sun. Yes. Mark Fisher. Yes. Bennett, yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. And that passes. Okay. Now we'll move on to public forum. If anybody has anything to say in public forum, please come forward just up to the podium. And this is where we listen. The board doesn't react or we don't give you comments or anything, but this is where we listen. So go right ahead. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, appreciate the uh, work and effort that you all do for Addison Township. Um, the thing that um, I'm bringing forth, and I would like to set up our as next month's agenda, uh, agenda as well, where I can spend even more time and uh, try to gather some support if it's necessary. But the thing that um, I'd like to bring before Addison Township, it was nice to hear that you don't spend all your budget. Because uh, we were over at the uh, uh, Lakeville Lake Association, and they actually turned down a like an assessment or a tax for Marine Patrol. And the reason it was turned down, and the reason I'm before you, is that they believe that since we spend so much money in taxes, and we, we provide so much support for Addison Township and Oakland County, that uh, we are asking you to help fund our Marine Patrol for Lake for the Lake. So I would I'd like you guys to really consider, uh, we've got different figures. I believe it should be somewhere around $15,000 is what's necessary if we're going to do it seven days a week. And the reason also I'm going to send this around to you, uh, this happens in front of my house, and this is the second reason why I'm addressing you. As I get 30, 40, 50 folks tied up in front of my house, um, holidays, weekends, every day of the week, and uh, I believe it devalued, devalued my property tremendously. And I'd like you to consider that when you put valuations on my property, that I can't literally, I cannot sell, could not sell my house right now, probably from the month, middle of May until about uh, the end of September. Because somebody would look at that and go, we're not buying this. So that's an issue all into itself. And I would bring up to you, um, you can pass it around, you can do what you want. I know we made one copy. But these are kind of the activity that goes on in front of my house, in front of my neighborhood. So um, hopefully uh, you would consider uh, funding Marine Patrol to help. You get a lot of individuals on the lake who spend um, 8, 10, 12 hours in front of my house. They get there at 10 o'clock, and there's no bathrooms there. There's nothing provided. And they spend 10, 12 hours there, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, and probably from about 4 o'clock till 11 o'clock at night during the week. So you can only imagine the trash and things I pick up as well. And I do worry because there's a couple other issues. One is the amount of trash that I pick up from there. And uh, I also worry, I have four grandchildren, and I worry because of them drinking and partying uh, there all the time. I cannot use the front of my house. I cannot use it. I could not go down and actually have my family go down and enjoy the lake. It's, it's totally blocked off. And I do worry because of the amount of activity that's there that somebody eventually is going to get hurt. So. I want you to, uh, hopefully, if you, if you can put me on the agenda, you can vote on it, or if you've got any other ideas that you'd like to share with me, I'd appreciate it. So, I don't Thank know. you. <clears throat> Anybody else? Any questions? You guys have any questions for you? We, we don't. I don't know how this works. Yeah, we don't, we, yeah, we don't talk at this, but this is where we listen, and then okay. we try to absorb what Thank you. Thank you. 
what you want to say here. Thank you. Is there anybody else who, uh, yes, come right up. My name's Mike Bartlett, 1469 Rochester Road. Um, I'm also a property owner on the lake. I'm also a board member of uh, LLOPA. POA. POA. Uh, let's get backwards. So um, I was at the last meeting that he referenced, and I will tell you this room was filled. Wall to wall with people, not happy with the condition of patrolling of the lake. We also took forward to take it out of our own funds to fund police patrol this year as a trial. It was voted down two to one as unacceptable. The feeling of the owners at the meeting were, we already pay enough taxes, we're paying a premium to be lake owners because we are paying an assessment that's higher than the norm. And it should be supported by the county. And we hear that the sheriff patrol doesn't have the money to provide it. So I started doing some research. So each year, and I've got this for the last three years, Oakland County has applied for two grants for Marine Safety Patrol. Don't know if you know that, but they have. So over the last three years, they've got 50, in 2015, there was $117,000 awarded to the county. In 2016, 123,000 dollars was awarded to the county. 126,000 was awarded last year. They have made application for this year for safety. This is for marine safety funds to support the lakes in Oakland County. They haven't yet determined the amount, but their application is already in at the state, ready to be granted. They just haven't finalized the grant process. So from a county perspective, they're doing their share as far as applying for grants. And then I went and did some research on some other lakes. Because I'm saying, why is our lake not getting the support that we need to protect the homeowners? And my wife and I have been on this lake. We have people going the wrong direction. We have people going high speeds at night. And we aren't getting the adequate safety patrols. And there's a responsibility as a community here for townships to support their responsible properties. So I researched what Alpina does. So they support a number of lakes. They actually fund it through two grants that they noted, the same two that Oakland County gets, and then they fund the balance out of their general fund. I think you were talking $15,000 maximum to provide the necessary support that we need to fund the Sheriff Patrol staffing of the people on the lake. It, it, I just find it mind-boggling that Alpina can see it within themselves to fund the need of the people that live in their community, opposed to asking a lake ownership board to have fundraisers and collections when we're already paying our dues and taxes to support a safe community. So what I'm respectfully asking is, one, if you'd like this information, I can send it to the, the clerk to share. Um, I'll be happy to do it. I would like to see on the agenda for next week or next month when you have your meetings, consideration for funding the sheriff patrol if the county is already providing the, the the boat and whatever else they provide with this hundred twenty five thousand dollars worth of grant money they have somebody's got to provide staffing if they aren't going to i would ask that the township does that or you ask the county to step up with the grant money that they have and apply it to man hours to put people on the slick it shouldn't be the responsibility of lake owners to do fundraising or secondary taxing to do it ourselves. We've already paid once. So respectfully, I would ask that to be considered for next month. Thank you. Anybody else? <clears throat> Anybody else in the public forum? Anybody else? Okay, we'll move on then. Add us to tell the board reports. Anybody on the boards have anything? Nothing? Legal reports, we don't have any communications. Any communications? Okay. Well, we have a supervisor's report then. <clears throat> uh, I was just going to announce that there's two bridges in our township that uh, the road commission went out and, uh, and did a, some testing on the bridges and the, they're lowering the um, weight limits on Roland Road 
<coughs> and uh, that's right by the, the small little bridge there just to the west of Rochester Road. And they're also lowering the um, Hagerman Road at McHale. There's a bridge there. If you, there's a little pond and a beaver dam there. Uh, some of these bridges uh, are not uh, up to par. They're going to see what they can do in the future with some bridge funds, but they did lower the weight limit on them. So I wanted everybody to know that there'll be signs up there that the road commission is going to put on. So, but I did talk to the fire chief, and the weight limit does not bother, uh, does not affect the fire engines going across those bridges. But anything larger, it will. So, anyways, um, other than that, um, <clears throat> I might to say a few words, um, I did have the township <clears throat> meeting with all the supervisors in the county today, and all of them were there. And I did pose that question about the Marine Division. <clears throat> the only township in all of Oakland County that's supporting the Marine Division with any public funds is Orion Township. Commerce, who has the most lakes, Highland, um, Milford, all of those are supported by SADs or by fundraisers. Uh, Orion Township provides $3,000 for Voorhees Lake, and they provide $7,000 maximum for Orion. And that's because when the Marine Division first uh, was um, stopped by the DNR, actually the lakes belong to the DNR. Uh, they thought that this was going to be a temporary thing, and so they put uh, a large sum of money in to sustain the Marine Division until the DNR came back and started funding the Marine Divisions. Well, that never came back, and it's not going to come back. We have argued over and over with the DNR that, um, of course, they should be funding our lake. After all, they have the boat launch there. They collect all the fees, um, uh, but they say they do have a jump boat. As far as the Sheriff's Department in the past, uh, we had the lieutenants there from the Sheriff's Department at this meeting today, <clears throat> and they said that the uh, uh, county does get funding to patrol the lakes. It's just not as much as they used to get, and they do have boats that they go around lake to lake to lake, and they put the jump boats uh, in there. Um, we are negotiating right now. I've talked to the, uh, the sergeant here and the commander of our station, and I have talked to him uh, a long time ago <clears throat> about the Marine Division. We've always done it by fundraisers here. And the very first time it actually came about that the deputies would get restitution money from the courts. That means now, by law, we can collect all our time that's tied up in restitution when we go to court for drunk drivers, arrests, different things like that. Those people have to pay restitution. That money comes back and that was money for the deputies to buy equipment and stuff that they might need at the station. Um, a few years ago they donated all that money to the Marine Patrol to make sure that it was out there. That's not a guarantee every year. I'm not opposed to doing maybe that in the future where we give some of the restitution money back. Um, I did do some statistics. Um, there were 47, I believe, um, stops on the lake last year. Uh, I think there were three tickets written, but we don't get any calls for service. The dispatch doesn't have any calls for service on record. Uh, what, uh, um, Sergeant Weir, how many calls for service did we have last year? Sir, we had uh, 76 and a half total patrol hours. Uh, we had 163 total contacts. There were two calls for service uh, that you referenced. Uh, those are calls to our dispatch center requesting the Marine Division respond to an incident. Uh, there were two calls uh, to our dispatch center that referenced a patrol officer uh, going to a residence, uh, dispatch to a residence. But as far as the Marine Division, there was just two calls for service. Now, I will add that out of the 163 contacts we had on the lake, there were 115 citations issued. Uh, out of those 115 citations, um, 112 were warnings. Um, so those that are, gives you a, a, a pretty good aspect of how many stops uh, you know they've made. Those out there are safety the warnings, different things like that. I, I would also like to add, uh, 76 and a half patrol hours is down 
Uh, there was some weather issues last year where they were uh, discontinued due to weather. Um, Orion Township, who uh, you referenced earlier, uh, their maximum patrol hours used was 243. So that gives you an idea of the difference. Is that for two lakes? That's for two lakes. And Lake Orion is the busiest lake in all of Oakland County. And they take the most calls for service. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, so when you put that into perspective uh, with our lake here, Lake the Lake, uh, you know, the, it's quite a bit of difference. Okay, thank you. Um, I do know that <clears throat> that I believe there's 10% um, of the people who live on the lake and they pay 11% of the taxes in all of Madison Township. Okay. What I will say, uh, we've been negotiating with uh, Dr. Prince, who lives right on the point there where we think there's the issues. Um, he's going to allow the marine boat if we get it to be placed there. So I think that's a great place to have it and I think that the as the patrol cars pull up I think the best thing to do is to view a lot of this stuff from land before the people even know that the boat's out there. As you know when the boat shows up everybody is in their best behavior but sometimes it's best if we see the people before they ever know they're there. So I think this is going to be a great deterrent. I'm very thankful to Dr. Prince if he allows us to put that boat right where the problem area happens to be. Now that might just move the problem to another area, I don't know. But those are the things that I just wanted to bring up off the top of my head because as you know I'm a retired deputy. The issue is all the marine, all the road patrol deputies have the same powers as any marine deputy. They, they do not have to be a marine deputy. The di di difference is a marine deputy can't write tickets on the highways or anything like that. But the road officers can write them on the road as well as on the lakes. They have that power. They're certified officers. A lot of your marine deputies are part-time people. If they make an OUIL or drunk driving, a drunk arrest on the lake, they have to call for our road patrol to take over the actual arrest and the transportation and, and the report. So what I'm saying is that our road patrol guys can handle any call, they can commandeer a boat, they can go out there at any time. The only way that we know there's a problem out there is if somebody calls the dispatch center in Pontiac they will notify the road officers as well if there is a marine division officer out there. But our, our road officers are well trained in all marine law. They can go out on any boat and they can handle a lot of this. So what we need is the cooperation of a lot of people to call into the dispatch center so that we know there's a problem and we can handle it. You write a few tickets, you make a few arrests out there, a lot of this goes away. So if you give us the tools, we'll finish the job. Well, I, I know. Well, can I speak or no? Well, uh, this is just where I speak, and oh, okay. I just wanted to answer some questions at the supervisors. If you want to bring this up at a later time, then uh, we can... How do we go about getting this on the agenda? Uh, well... So we can talk about it. Uh, you can contact the clerk or one of the trustees okay. here, okay? And my thing is, is that <clears throat> I think that um, we might be able to do uh, some funding maybe with the restitution money. I have to talk if the sergeant wants to give up his restitution money uh, from the court and depending on how many, uh, uh, how much restitution we have, I think that would be a good way to start. Um, and if, uh, if they put in so much money, if everybody wants more hours, that's going to be a fundraiser issue uh, because even on the other lakes, that's exactly what they have. They have SADs or they have uh, fundraisers. And that's for the whole county, even for Orion Township. If they want more than what they get, they have to do that by fundraiser. And um, so, anyways, um, do I have a motion for adjournment? I'll make that. <coughs> support. And we have support. <coughs> All those in favor of adjournment, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you very much. Next meeting, April 16th, 6 o'clock at the same location. Thank you. Aye.